guys, it's Rachel, and today I'm going to be doing my February favorites. Um, so, if you didn't see my last video, I will link it below. It was the updated What's My Purse video. Um, but if you didn't hear that announcement, I am going to be attending New York IMAT. So, if you will be there, please come up and say hello. I would love to meet you, and um, I'm just really excited to go. So, um, I have a lot of makeup favorites to get through this month, so let's just get started. Okay, so I'll start with lip products since that is the majority of what I have to show you. My first favorite lip product is the Nivea Lip Butter in Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss. This is just like a clear lip balm lip butter. It's so, so moisturizing and it smells delicious. Like, I just want to eat it. It smells kind of like, I don't think it describes it, but um, it smells kind of like chocolatey and vanilla. Um, and it's made in Belgium, so maybe that's why it smells like chocolate, but... Um, it smells so good, and it was only like $3.50, and it comes with 16.7 grams of product, and that's a ton, so I would definitely recommend you check these out. Um, you can find them at like your local drugstore. Um, next, I have two Maybelline Vivid Lipsticks. The first one is A85 Vibrant Mandarin, which I have swatched here on the top for you. And I'll go ahead and do the second one. The second one is 865 Fuchsia Flash. I've worn these both a ton this month, even though it's not even, you know, I mean, it is close to spring and summer, but, you know, it's not, a lot of people aren't really wearing bright lipsticks right now, but um, I've worn them a ton this month, and I've gotten tons of um, compliments on them, and I really like them. Um, so I don't know if you can still find them, but if you can, I would definitely recommend you pick some up. Um, actually, Vibrant Mandarin, when I bought it, was the one I thought I would wear the least, and I've actually worn that one a ton. It's just such a pretty, like, red-orange, so it doesn't look as crazy as it looks in the tube. And I just really, really like that one. Um, and then I have one other lipstick favorite, as you can see, swatch on my hand. And this is Revlon's lipstick in 657 Fuchsia Fusion. I just got this really recently, but it's already one of my most favorite products of the month. I'm wearing it now. It's actually not this color in real life. The lighting is making it look kind of weird. It's a little bit darker than this in real life. Um, but this is supposed to be a dupe for Max Girl About Town, so I looked up dupes and this one came up. So I went and picked it up. I think it was like $10, which at Walmart, Revlon's lipsticks are like $5, but CVS is with $10, which is kind of insane. Um, but Revlon was buy one given half off, so I didn't feel so bad because I got two lipsticks. Um, but here is Swatch. It has like, I don't even know, it just has like the most amazing formula ever. It's just insane. It's so smooth and so easy to apply. And like I said, I'm wearing it now. Um, and it's just amazing. It's one of the super lustrous lipstick lipsticks. Um, and it says it's a pearl finish. So I don't know. I just love it. I'm obsessed. So let's just move on to eye products. So the first eye product is something I showed last month as well. And it's MAC All That Glitters Eyeshadow. See if you can see that there. Um, I love this. I hit pan on it. This is not showing its actual color, but it's just a really pretty champagne color. And I was actually kind of glad to hit pan on it because I'd used it or I've had it for so long. So I was really glad to kind of finally hit pan. Um, but yeah, I wore this as one. I'm wearing it today in my crease. Um, but it's such a pretty color and I would definitely recommend you check it out. I know it's $15, which is a lot, but, um, I had this for over a year before I even hit pan on it, so if you average it out, then it kind of works out. Um, the next eyeshadow is from Urban Decay, and it's Midnight Cowboy Rides Again. I would say Midnight Cowboy and Midnight Cowboy Rides Again are Urban Decay's most famous eyeshadows and their most disliked because a lot of people cannot stand the chunky glitter in it. I love glitter. I'm obsessed with glitter. I don't mind if a little glitter falls out. Um, I do hold a tissue there when I apply it. I freaking love this. It's so sparkly. I just can't even. It's just beautiful. I don't even think you can see how sparkly it is. I have Midnight Cowboy as well, but this one's even more sparkly and it's darker and it's just beautiful. I just am obsessed. So I would definitely recommend you check that out. Those are a little bit more expensive than Max eyeshadows. I think these are like $18 or $19, but again, so worth it. My last eye product is a mascara, and it's the Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. I know a ton of people have talked about this already, and I've had it since, like, the beginning of January, and I hated it. I just did not like it. Well, I finally figured out how to work with it, and I like it a lot more now. Um, it's still not my favorite. It does not be uh, benefits there real, but I've learned how to work with it, and it's not, it's not too shabby now that I've kind of figured it out. Here's what the wand looks like. It looks almost identical to the CoverGirl, um... Lash Blast wand, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm still 
kind of learning to love this mascara. I don't know if I would repurchase it, but um, it's definitely, it's definitely growing on me, I would say. Lastly, I have three cheek products, one blush and two highlighters. So my uh, blush favorite is Benefits Hervana. Um, this is a really nice blush. I got this back in September. You just kind of swirl all the colors together, and you get a really nice, like, light pink color. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just really nice. It's pretty matte, and uh, I just really like this blush. I think it's a good everyday blush, something that looks good on everyone. So on to the two highlighters. The first one is Liquid, and that is Benefits High Beam. Um, I got this in December. It was one of the 500-point perks at Sephora. Um, and it came with some other stuff too. And this is actually a really good size. I don't think it's full size, but it's, um, uh, 0.45 fluid ounces. And it's like a really big bottle. Um, I have been using this a lot this month and, uh, I really like it. I like, I don't like it so much down my nose because I feel like it smears my foundation a lot. Um, but I like it for my cheekbones. Um, and then for down my nose, I like to use, um, Soft and Gentle. For MAC, I got this last month late last month i think um and this is just a powder highlighter if you don't know what this is it's a really pretty it's huge it's um 10 grams yeah 10 grams so i don't think i will ever run out of this but it's just a gorgeous highlighter for on your cheeks or on, down your nose on your cupid's bow whatever it's just beautiful um that is a really expensive product and so is high beam um well of course i got that high beam for free but um this is $29, which I know is outrageous, and I'm sure you could probably look up dupes of this if you didn't want to spend the full $30, basically, until you knew that you loved it. Um, that would be that would be my suggestion. All right, guys, that is all of my favorites for this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it, and there's all my lipstick swatches. Also, please make sure to subscribe. There is a little icon of my face somewhere around here that you can click and it will take you to my channel where you can click the subscribe button or you can click it somewhere around here but some people like to go to the channel to do that um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions comments or concerns you can comment below or any video request um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time bye